we're going to weld this nut onto these studs that are broke off and get them out of the heads. There's two on this side and two on the other side. Welcome to life with Bills. What we need to do is we need to weld this stuff on here. But let's give her a wiggle on the first one and see if we can't get that set out. I'm not big on the easy out, so I'm just going to use my out. We'll give her some power. See if we can't burn her foot in the crotch. Because that's what I do. Put her right about there. And we'll see what happens. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Give her some more. In here. Oh, the ground up. Two, three, three. There. So. Well, it looked way more than enough. And of course, I don't even have the tool ready to go here. <laughs> Just so you know when you're doing this, make sure you have your socket ready to go because it's always best to turn it when they're hot. Something to say. Alright. There you go, Captain. Decent. So now we gotta do this one. So weld this one under here. You watching this? Probably not. Here, get right in here. Remember, when you're wearing Crocs, keep your feet away from the doodad. They definitely need a new friggin' thing. This thing's had it. Big time. Look at it. What's really going on? Oh, boy. Welder, please. Air bowling. Okay. Hopefully I get enough weld on there. I didn't put as much this time to see if we can get her out without so much weldage. No, we need more weldage. Ow! Hey, ow! Ow! Fuck! Oh, that was a good one. I didn't smell my skin burning. Oh, yeah, I did. Skin anyone? Decent. I like the pain. Friggin' ready to do. I'm gonna try to get just off side of the nut, see if this will work. Mike, it does help to hold it. Ow, that friggin' hurts, Jim. Yeah, a little bit of a burn there, dude. Just a little one. Nothing major. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Wow, that one's in there. Holy. Time for a new nut. We wore the welcome out on that nut. Let's try a big one again. Got lucky on the first one. There it is. Sometimes you just gotta do her twice. Once, twice. Four times, lady. Next side, let's get over there and get her done. So as you can see, we got the same problem on this side, which is the same too. So we're gonna go back to the big nut and see which works the best. So we need two more big nuts, and we'll slap them on do this, that's the other freaking thing. On she goes. And a little welly welly. Easy. Easy. There we go. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got her. Next. Take that. I go for a welder. That's all I can say. All right, here we go. There you go. I'm not stupid all the time, you know. Don't forget to subscribe and like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like taking out the studs, dirty old bills. Up. Now what we gotta work on is getting the dipstick out. So let's shut that welder off, because I've been known. Cock over my video was before we leaving the welder running, I have. So let's get this out. This is gonna be another one of those decent chores that kind of suck dick. So I'm gonna slot this brought to you by Snap-on. Think of a bobber somewhere here. Right about there, and we'll uh, put a little light on the situation. There you go. You see that? Probably not. I gotta go and see Aaron a today and pick up some manifolds. So it is rotten, like a buddy of mine said. She's rotten, TJ. Friggin' right, it's rotten. But it is moving a little bit in there. Oh, dick. I think she's gonna bust, bud. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get a little bit of a pick and run her through. I got an old jalopy here somewhere, but it's my go-to. So let's use this to see if we can get a little bed action going. Can you see? Probably not. But right in here, as you can see, it's pretty friggin' dickered. 
So I'm going to try to get something in here and uh, we see if we can get her to move. It's just rotten, bud. She's going to give me a dick over like yours. Yep, she's breaking off. There it is. Same problem you had, but I'm not worried about it. We'll figure it out. Figure it out together. Maybe. I'm going to take the oil pan off anyways. So worst case scenario, she'll go down the side and we'll get her out from the other way. So I'm not really too concerned about it. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I just put some more metal in there for myself. Let's see if I can't get that out. There it is. Get out the piece of that. Oh. Oh, decent. Oh, there it goes. Something's moving. So it's moving in, which is good, because we'll knock her down. And then we'll get her out from inside. There it goes. There we go. Hey, she's in the block. We gotta make sure we get that out after. She's freaking mid. Hey, she's just in the bottom of the block, that's all. Oh, biggie. Unbolt the block, or drop pan, and drop the pan and everything else. Which I was planning on doing because it looks like the gasket's leaking back here or somewhere. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm going to say it is just because that's the way she goes. At least it's out. Inside, but out. There you go, TJ. Did you try that? Did you try to knock her into the lock? That's the way she works. A big shout out to TJ. He gave me a call this morning and gave me some pointers on that. And he says it's probably going to break off, and it did. And you're 100%, Jim. So thanks for that offer. But we got the bolts out of the head. We got the dipstick into the bottom of the oil pan, which is good. We're going to yank this friggin' water pump off because I'm going to do gaskets and water pump. And I got a new water pump, but I don't think we're going to use it. But let's just get this off the way. We're going to have a little bit of spooge here, of course. So I don't really know where to put a bucket because it's going to just be everywhere. So let's get a bucket where my bucket went over there. And we'll slap the bucket under there and see what happens. So we'll go this side first and we'll get them ones out and see what happens. We're gonna go with a 10 mil on this. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Sure is. Okay, so one, hit one, two, three. There we go. See if we can't break her loose, we'll get these ones loose. We won't take them all the way. Oh! Of course it's gonna come out that side. But hey, we caught her and that's all that matters. So we'll get these bolts out. Like so, eh? Like so. There we go. So that's all there is to an LS water pump, which is ick all. Some old rings there, but we got new ones for that. Oh, frig. Put this over here for now. And how's it looking? Not too bad. Pretty clean in there, actually. But like I said, we don't need these gaskets. There we go. Water pump off. I'd like to get the balancer off, too. So we can change this plate. We'll do some gasket changes there too. But I need a, I think it's, you need a puller tool, but it's gonna be a six inch shank to go into the crank and that'll pull off. So I'm gonna have to get one of them. I might have to talk to Steve at work. Hey, how you doing Steve? Cause he might have one of them. I have a puller, I just don't have the big long needle dick that's gonna go into the middle of the crank shaft. So that's done. So we're getting somewhere today. So we'll put some good head gaskets in her and get maybe an ARP stud kit for her. But we should separate it today from the transmission so I can get this motor on the stand so we can get the dipstick tube out of the bottom of the freaking oil pan. So maybe we'll get to that. As it sits right now, I just want to do a little short video here of what I did and how to get suds out in case you want to know and removing the dipstick tube and taking a water pump off. There you go. Hey, just a short one today. It's only 23 minutes long, so it should be about seven minutes by the time done. But it's Sunday, it's one o'clock already. It's raining out, it's shitty out, and I finally got out of the garage. I meant to come out here and drink coffee, which I forgot about, but I'll get that to that right now. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell or button if you like the LS videos. I will do things in between, of course, but that's all I've done this weekend is just this kind of shit. Pretty happy about my progress this weekend. Gonna paint her. Leave any comments down below what color I should paint the block. It's going in the van. It's burgundy. So what do you think? Black? Okay. Sounds good. Decent. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I really love you guys and I appreciate all your support. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And until next time, you know what to do for now.